Hi, Doc Mountain here, and I welcome you to my YouTube channel. In our video today, we are going to look at uh, background radiation. So when we are done with this lesson, you should be able to define background radiation, and then you should be able to give examples of sources of background radiation. Right. So now, <clears throat> background radiation is the radiation that is present or can be detected even in absence of radioactive substance. That is, before a radioactive substance is actually brought in space, if you place a gigamolar there, it will actually give you some counter. It will show that there are some radiations that are being radiated, even before a radioactive substance is actually placed there. So now, the question is, where do those radiations come from? Okay, so now, that is what we are here to look at. So now, the sources of background radiations include uh, foods and drink. It also includes cosmic rays, medical sources, nuclear power. And then it, they also come from the ground and buildings. Much of the background radiations come from radon gas from the Earth. And then... The other sources as well. Now, how do you calculate the correct count rate of a substance or an object? So now, the correct count rate of a substance or an object is given by the equation. Uh, count rate of an object is equal to a recorded, recorded rate, that is recorded count rate, minus background radiation. Now, a very good example that we are going to look at is this one, which is at the bottom. A gigabola is used to measure the, the decay of radioactive substances. So we have a variety of radioactive substances, and the results are tabulated in the table below. Okay. So there is a gigamola or any other instrument that is used to measure the radiations within a particular space. And then it is found that the background rate is 25 counts per second. That is before anything, anything, or before the substances are actually introduced in that space. It is found that the background count rate is 25 counts per second. What is the correct? What is the correct count rate of each substance now? Uh, so now let's let's take a look at that particular table of uh, the recordings. So time was actually recorded in hours. That that, that was before that time they started counting. So it was found that the counts per hour were 4.25. So now we need to actually uh, subtract the the 25 the 25 count rate per hour which is actually the background radiation from this radiation that was recorded in that particular substance so now 425 minus 25 so i will write here 25 here yeah? that is a uh, 25 count rates 25 counts rate per hour. So we need to subtract that 25 from 425, and we have the correct count rate as 400. Then 255, we subtract 25, we have 240. Okay. Yes, then we have 175 minus 25, we have 150. Then 105 minus 25, so this has always to be removed from the recorded count right from the recorded, the recorded count right because this is the background uh, radiation. So 73 minus 25, we have 48. Then 51 minus 25, we have 26. So that's how we do it. Hope you've laid one or two things. Go ahead and hit on the subscribe button, the like, and don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below.